Hi all, this is Max from Zetomax.com and uh, Samsung Vibrant uh, .org and Samsung Vibrant Hacks.com which will be coming and today I'm going to show you how to root your Samsung Vibrant this one I got off the black market uh, a week before the launch date anyway, first connect your uh, USB, micro USB to your uh, T-Mobile uh, Samsung Vibrant and then also uh, connect it as a USB storage and I already did mount it and then open up your SD card there's two drives the internal one and the SD card use the SD card and then what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna copy over the update zip file let me show you close up here you're gonna copy over the update zip file which I downloaded somewhere here. Is it here? Oh, I hit it here. Um, so, this update zip file, which I have links to on my blog post, so please check my blog post within the YouTube link. Uh, it'll be all in there. You should read that before you even try this. And copy it over to the root directory. Alright, and then we're gonna open up a command prompt so go to your uh, if you're using Windows you will go here and type CMD and it'll pop up a window there and the next we're gonna go browse to your SDK uh, Android SDK tools directory if you don't have Android SDK uh, software installed and you don't know what that means, you should go download it. Uh, just Google Android SDK, go to Google and then download it for your appropriate platform and put it in somewhere like, you know, C slash SDK. And now once you've done that, we can do CD slash SDK slash tools. And also, let's go back to the phone real quick here, Mr. Cameraman, myself. <laughs> And uh, you want to turn off the USB storage and unhook your uh, your uh, USB cord. And then you want to go to settings, applications, development, and turn USB debugging on. And then connect it back once you've done that. And then we can go back to this screen here. And you just do ADB uh, reboot recovery try that and hopefully it's gonna reboot into recovery I hope so well we got we got device uh, not found so that means you probably don't have the driver installed so let me fix that if you go to device manager uh, you'll see uh, you know some kind of Samsung Android but it looks like I've installed the wrong driver I think it's the composite driver I got installed so go back here, update driver, browse my computer, let me pick a list, and then brow you can browse to your SDK tools folder where the driver directory is. Um, I'll show you. So, so this is my SDK tools. And if you use the SDK update software, you should have got the USB driver. So we click on there. Okay. And then that's the screen it'll bring up and we'll need to do the Android composite ADV device instead and hopefully hopefully I've updated my driver so hopefully that will work and let's go back here and just try reboot recovery again uh -oh. oh another way you can do it forget that I believe it's uh, your power turn it off And let's do this instead. We should be able to get into the bootloader by volume down and power button. So once it turns off. Uh, hold down the power uh, volume button. While holding down, hit the power button. And then hopefully it'll boot into the bootloader. Yeah, it seems like it is different. So if it's blinking, I believe that's 
Uh, booting into the recovery mode. I think. Not sure. So I'm gonna let it go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Okay, I'll be back. So I think I got it. I'm actually now installing the uh, USB, the whole Samsung US, USB drivers for mobile phones. I, I guess this is compatible across all kind of uh, mobile phones. So hopefully this will fix the problem and I'll be back after this. So I figured out what's wrong. Um, so you gotta install the Samsung USB drivers and when you look in your device manager, you should have Samsung Android USB composite device. And you should have, and uh, well, it'll, it'll install it for you. So I got the Samsung. I'll have links to that where you can download it. And when I go back to ADB now, it's working. So let's go back to hacking, rooting this phone. And then, sorry, I got a phone call. I'll be right back. So I got it working now. So uh, ADB devices here, and uh, you can see that it's working. Now we're gonna do ADB reboot recovery, and boom, shakalaka, we got it uh, rebooting. And let's root this thing, cause I was I spent last 20 minutes trying to get this thing. Oh, so let's see what it says. So we will get the recovery menu. And all you gotta do is uh, go reinstall packages, go use the volume down, and then hit the power button. Um, it says uh, can't open update.zip. So I'm gonna try to uh, put the update file not in the SD card, but actually the, the internal storage. That might be why. So let me try that, and I'll be back. So let's mount the uh, the phone again, and we're gonna copy over the zip file to the other one. Sorry, I'm keep getting doing a lot of stuff here. So let me open it up. Obviously, I put it on the wrong SD card. Not the SD card. You actually have to put it in the root of the. Uh, so I, this is the SD card. So I'm gonna move it back to. Well, I'm gonna copy it over to. Um, this is the internal storage, I believe. Yes. Oh, it's actually 12 gigs. So I've got it there, and let me try the. Uh, ADB, ADB reboot recovery. Now it's. Uh, Doing that. Sorry, I'm just made some mistakes along the way here, but at least you know, some 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 of you will make the same mistakes. And this video got kind of long, but let me try again. Reinstall packages. Oh, come on. Yes, it's working. So now I finally got it working. Let me see. Uh, if I can actually, if I have the super user app, let me reboot it, and I'll be back after it reboots. Anyway, I've got the phone rebooted now, and guess what? I've got super user permissions, baby. So let me double check if it's actually working. So what you can do is go back to the shell and do ADB shell, which will give get you into the shell, and do SU. And uh, and you should get something like this on here and it's allow. And voila, I got it rooted. So that's how you root uh, T-Mobile uh, Samsung Vibrant. So let me go through the steps again, so you don't go through the mistakes. You need to install SDK, uh, Android SDK, and then you gotta install the Samsung USB drivers. It's different uh, from the uh, SDK drivers that you get with the Android SDK. So you gotta install the Samsung USB drivers. 
which I'll have a zip um, zip file download link on my site and then you install those two and then you should be able to connect your phone put it in uh, USB debugging mode development mode debugging mode and then you should be able to um, go into shell command prompt I mean and go to your tools directory and you should be able to reboot it into recovery and then once you're in recovery you just uh, select you know reinstall packages uh, which is uh, which is uh, you, you have, oh sorry you have to also put the update zip file in the root folder of your the 12 gigabyte internal storage so that's all folks have fun with it